try to go boys. I'm gonna see if I can shoot this buck. Just sitting on the edge of the field. I'm not gonna get to videotape it. I, I got it a couple times to him. Here he comes. I'm gonna see what happens. Meh. <sighs> All right. So I messed up my dates this morning. It is actually October, or November, November 10th. I messed up my dates this morning. I said October 10th, but it's November 10th. We're just sitting in the stand behind us. And uh, we've been sitting there all day since this morning. We've seen a lot of action, uh, some good bucks. This is a good buck. He was hit in the shoulder already. I uh, feel it's kind of your, your duty, your obligation to, to finish that deer off in an ethical way if possible. But also, he's a good buck. Uh, It'll get me out of sitting a full length, cold day again. But uh, I'm gonna try to self-film this recovery. We got good blood, uh, rely on the schwackers pretty heavily. I took it right through the front shoulder and uh, I've had good luck with them. It was only at 30 yards, so I think we punched through. We got good blood. This is a good field. I kind of don't want to, it's a huge soybean field. You can see uh, just acres and acres. I think it's 90 acres of soybean. And where I'm at, I can't see uh, very far around the corner. So um, I got someone up on the next field, because in Indiana it's just a huge block of woods, hedgerow field, and uh, but I don't want to mess this up too much. There's no deer in the field right now. We're going to try to make a recovery. We're going to follow the blood and uh, self-film, see what happens. Might be some action. We'll see. All right, so as you can see, uh, we got blood here, and uh, I'm not going to take my time too much and try to get it on film, but uh, we'll just poke through the soybean and see if we can't keep a trail. Uh, you know, we got blood like that. And we're just gonna keep going at a pretty good pace because I can see like uh, where he, you know, where he went. So I'm gonna try to make this kind of quick and we'll, we'll see what's up. Unless I get lost, then we'll go back to looking for good blood. But as of now, you know, he's just, uh, he's pumping out some pretty good blood. The, the bad news is I, I seen him for about 200 yards running at a pretty good clip. And uh, that worried me that I didn't see him fall. Uh, but we'll see. The shot looked good. I watched the replay a bunch. I just, this is a big field to cover. Uh, you know, he's probably got some blood on the ground too, I would imagine. But uh, for right now, we're just gonna go with the soybean Why it's lighting it up and letting us know where he was going. So this has been about 50 yards so far. Getting it pretty good. There you go. See some more. And we're just gonna keep going. Alright. I'm actually looking ahead about five to ten yards, and so far I'm able to keep up with the blood trail. Uh, just by looking ahead, you know, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys everything because I kind of want to get out of this field. Alright, yep, you went right up this lane. 
So this is good. And then, I see his feet down here. Where'd he go? Where did he go? There's blood there. Huh. All right, so I lost it for a second, I thought, but what he did is he stayed right on this trail and we were able to pick it up pretty fast again. It looks like he's pouring out pretty good at this point. All righty. Uh-huh. Now if this was back home in PA, we'd be able to see, because uh, our soybean generally doesn't grow this high. He's going the easiest trail, even being soybean, that, that's good, least resistant. Okay. We got good blood, good blood, good blood. Good blood. Good blood. Blood. Just want to make sure I'm not getting too far ahead and that we're actually tracking while we're doing this as well. Also looking ahead to make sure we don't accidentally jump in this buck in case he is still. Now there's blood. Now I kinda. All right, there's blood. There's blood. Gosh, made me nervous he's gone this far. Sometimes when these bucks are jacked up though in the rut, they got so much adrenaline uh, that uh, just carries them. And we got pretty good blood so far. on the grass here. Staying right on this. Okay, now he's cut off a little bit. Oh, I see blood open right up. Oh, he went. He went through here hard. Oh no, come on, baby. Where'd he go? We got good blood. We got good blood. The tips of these soybeans are white, or red. I'm walking, I don't know if you can. That is red tent all the way through there. Those schwackers open him up. I oh, just gotta find him. Now it looks like he's heading back to the corn. If he's not right here on this hedgerow, I'm gonna back out. Because I don't, I don't think he would have went much farther than this. There's a fence in here too, maybe. He got hung up in. But I also don't want to mess anyone out. So if I, or I'll push him into another hunter. Steer carried that. You're telling me that. That's unbelievable. He made that. Hedro, I'm gonna go about two feet in here is a good blood pile. Alright. I cannot believe this buck got through here. And I don't know where he went.
you know that deer just went quite a ways. I haven't seen my arrow. He didn't kick my arrow yet. I'm not going to go any farther than this right here. Uh, I feel like he's bleeding good. I'm just going to mark right here. I can see where he went through this hedgerow. It's plain as day. I'm not going to bump him. We have permission to hunt the next property and beyond the next property. But I, I, don't, I just don't want to push him into someone else. I, I hope if he hasn't expired yet that uh, he'll, he'll lay down and we won't push him. So uh, stay tuned. Might have to get some night footage, but uh, it's about 5.20 right now. So we don't have much time and it's going to get dark. So well, we'll stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, it's uh, November 10th, and uh, you've seen it go down. Self-filmed, self-tracked. We have a model, man. Uh, once they clear a field, find the direction, back out, because that's too far. Uh, we went back and we re reviewed the footage. There's five of us, and we all said, good shot. You could tell this buck was hit before. Actually found his br the broadhead was lodged in the, in the shoulder. It broke off about three inches. Uh, we just pulled that out of him. But uh, mine got in front, he was quarter and two. And at that angle, if you're behind the shoulder and you miss by an inch, you, you get guts. So we just have that that awesome uh, experience and uh, confidence in those Schwacker broadheads to get through that shoulder and, and take that shot. So he's probably a 120 inch buck. Uh, he's a mainframe eight with a little crab call out here, which would make him a nine and a split brow and a little kicker off the two here. So he's pretty unique. Uh, Man, it's just good to see he only went another 15 feet. As soon as he got into the corn where I stopped, he piled up. He was done. So, uh, super easy tracking job. We're going to call it in, get a, get a, get the DCNR uh, up to date on this buck, and uh, try to kill a big buck tomorrow. We got, what, three other people with tags, so probably go sit and videotape them. So, awesome. Thanks, guys.